the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with the Spirit. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask for the Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Be Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. O God, who sits in Rose of Lima on fire with your love, so that secluded from the world, in the austerity of a life of penance, she might give herself to you, Lord. Grant, we pray, that through her intercession, we may tread the paths of life on earth and drink at the stream of your delights in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is from Judges, chapter 9, verses 6 to 15. All the citizens of Sechem and all Beth Nabal came together and proceeded to make Abimelech king by the Herobim at the memorial pillar in Sechem. When this was reported to him, Jotham went to the top of Mount Gerizim and standing there cried out to them in a loud voice, Hear me, citizens of Sechem, that God may then hear you. Once the trees went to anoint a king over themselves, so they said to the olive tree, Reign over us. But the olive tree answered them, Must I give up my rich oil, whereby men and gods are honored, and go to wave over the trees? Then the trees said to the fig tree, Come, you reign over us. But the fig tree answered them, must I give up my sweetness and my good fruit and go away over the trees? Then the trees said to the vine, Come, you, and reign over us. But the vine answered them, Must I give up my wine that cheers gods and men and go to wave over the trees? Then all the trees said to the buckthorn, Come, you reign over us. But the buckthorn replied to the trees, If you wish to anoint me king over you in good faith, come and take refuge in my shadow. Otherwise, let fire come from the buckthorn and devour the cedars of Lebanon. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm is number 21. Lord, in your strength, the king is glad. Lord, in your strength, the king is glad. O oh Lord, in your strength, the king is glad. In your victory, how greatly he rejoices. You have granted him his heart's desire. You refuse not the wish of his lips. Lord, in your strength, the king is glad. For you welcomed him with goodly blessings. You placed on his head a crown of pure gold. He asked the life of you. You gave him length of days forever and ever. Lord, in your strength, the king is glad. Great is his glory in your victory. Majesty and splendor you conferred upon him. You made him a blessing forever. You gladdened him with the joy of your face. Lord, in your strength, the king is glad. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Word of God is living and effective, able to discern the reflectors and thoughts of the heart. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with you. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus told his disciples this parable. The kingdom of heaven may be like a landowner who went out at dawn to hire laborers for his vineyard. After agreeing with him for the usual daily wage, he sent them into his vineyard. Going about about nine o'clock, he saw others standing idle in the marketplace, and he said to them, You two go into my vineyard, and I will give you what is just. So they went off, and he went out again around noon and around three o'clock, and did likewise. Going out about five o'clock, he found others standing around, and he said to them, Why do you stand here idle all day? They answered, Because no one has hired us. He said to them, You two go into my vineyard. When it was evening, the owner of the vineyard said to the foreman, Some of the laborers and give them their pay, beginning with the last and ending with the first. When those who had started about five o'clock came, each received the usual daily wage. So when the first came, they thought that they would receive more, but each of them also got the usual wage. And on receiving it, they grumbled against the landowner, saying, These last ones worked only one hour, and you have made them equal to us, who bore the day's burden and the heat. He said to one of them in reply, My friend, I am not cheating you. Did you not agree with me for the usual daily wage? Take what is yours and go. What if I wish to give this last one the same as you? Or am I not free to do as I wish with my own money? Are you envious because I am generous? Thus the last will be first and the first will be last. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. As we proclaim your wonders, O Lord, in the Virgin Blessed Rose of Lima, we humbly implore your majesty that as our merits are pleasing to you, so to our dutiful service may find favor in your sight through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he is the true and eternal priest who instituted the pattern of an everlasting sacrifice and was the first to offer himself as a saving victim, commanding us to make this offering as his memorial. As we eat his flesh that was sacrificed for us, we are made strong. And as we drink his blood that was poured out for us, we are washed clean. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O God of our lives. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O God of your lives. This morning I have a call from St. Basil the Great, and the Holy Eucharist. He was born in the year 330. He said, To partake of the Holy Body and Blood of Christ is good and beneficial, for he says quite plainly, He that eats my flesh and drinks my blood is eternal life. Who can doubt that to share continually in life is the same thing as having life abundantly? You're indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. 
For to your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit graciously make holy, these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. From the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for me, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to your Son, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your life, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph of Spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Rose of Lima, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and reconciliation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope and Louis our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Draw to part your brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, to whom we bestow the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray for every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of Christ. Sorry. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you can enter my mind with, but I only say a word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Renewed by partaking of this divine gift, we pray, O Lord our God, that by the example of Blessed Rose of Lima, bearing in our body the death of Jesus, we may strive to hold fast to you, Lord, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord be with you. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Go in peace and make disciples. Thanks. Thanks.